From 4.12 to 4.39 in the performance, the drummer and I are trading phrases, and we start off by trading eights, eight measures apiece, and then we go into trading fours. And this is one of my favorite things to do in the context of a trio. I'm fortunate in that I also play drums, and so for me, uh, drums is really a, a love of mine, and so I love trading with a wonderful drummer. And as I mentioned, uh, Kita Tana is just a phenomenal drummer who's played with so many wonderful artists, and we play together as often as possible and both live in the Bay Area, so we have an, a lot of opportunity to play together, and we're very tuned into each other. One of the things that a lot of guitarists don't know how to do when they're answering a drummer, they don't know how to play rhythmic figures in the context of playing melody. Well, that's something that you can do, and one of the best ways to start working on that, which I do here, is to play some chordal rhythms. For instance, let's say the drummer does a very common riff, da 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 boom. Uh, it's something that uh, Ringo Starr does if you listen to early Beatle recordings. Da 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 boom. Well, now I don't have to go. I might, but I could decide to put chords with it. That got the same idea across. So again, uh, and again, I have to uh, recommend my my performance DVD, Flying Solo, where you can actually hear me talk about voice leading with chords and how to begin working on that. But suffice it to say that the guitar is a rhythmic instrument as well as a melodic and harmonic instrument. So you can choose to answer a drummer many ways. Maybe I'll stay on one note and just play that same rhythm. Or use two notes. Or... So see, there are many ways to play And again, you can do it with chords, you can do it with melody lines, but the important thing, and as you listen to this segment, is you're going to hear that Akita and I are constantly responding to each other and then adding a little something at the end of each of the trade segments. And this is very common in jazz, and it creates just a lot of energy, and the audience picks up on it. They go, oh, wow, these two musicians are now having a conversation. And you'll notice that the bass is dropped out during the drums. He plays behind me when we're all playing together, but then drops out for the drummer so that the drummer is just standing alone there playing his ideas very, uh, very clearly for me to pick up on.